doing? Who you're writing your music for? If you're writing your music for the guy at the office, then your public enemy is doing a bad job. <laughs> they were doing their music for black people or for people who want to come to a better understanding of how things really are, then they did a good job. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Because I want to see the true picture. It don't matter what he calls. Nigga, nigga, I'm a boss. Nigga, nigga, I'm a boss. I spin it, I spin it, I'm out of the cost. I buy the money, I'm out of the cost. See, that's what you get when you fuck with a boss. You know what I'm saying? I don't care if he feels uncomfortable. Because what about when I felt uncomfortable for 400 years? You know what I'm saying? Then now all of a sudden it's bad to, to talk about some real... Any, anytime somebody pulls a trigger or there's any kind of gunshot, everybody starts running for cover. But everybody's really doing all this shooting in the streets. You know what I'm saying? All this Iran-Contra stuff and the big... That war, all that, that's violence to me. That's real violence. Mm. What we're talking about is fake violence. All this, what we're rapping, it happens in the streets, but us rapping about it is not the violence. Mm. And the movie about it is not the violence. You know what I'm saying? Mm. It's, it's an adventure world that we are creating. Trying to get out, trying to, what we're doing is using our brain to get out of the ghetto any way we can. So we tell these stories, you know what I'm saying? And they tend to be violent because our world tends to be filled with violence. I would rather tell I like the way he male, explains stuff. To um, educate his mind. Because um and I don't wanna of course I don't wanna interrupt Tupac, but um I feel like a lot of the stuff that he talks about interviews is so relevant today because I feel like you know when you talk about racism or you talk about or you you know you it's I feel like I can't talk to certain people about you know about slavery or about racism and stuff like that. It's it's like it's a like a like a real sketchy topic. But I mean, unless you're the person who actually enslave me or my ancestors then i don't i don't understand why like why i can't be looked back on and say oh this happened let's figure out how we can solve this problem because it's an ongoing thing like it's still a lot of people that have issues with other races and stuff like that it's still a lot of people that have issues with people talking about violence like nowadays it's kind of like oh i'm gonna shoot you in the face i'm gonna no it's it's like Everything is a Uzi, I'm going to shoot you in the face or whatever. But back then, I felt like it was really like a story. They were really telling a story. And I felt like what makes a real rapper is somebody who can tell a story, you know, who can make it make sense and rhyme and stuff, who can make it sound relatable and sound good. I feel like nowadays, like, people just, like, it's rappers that say, like, oh, I just started rapping a couple months ago, and now, boom, I done blew up. These rappers, a lot of rappers from the 90s, it took years and years for them to get to where they where they were for them to become legends. Like, it was a grind, like, everyday grind for years. Just being on a grind, like, it just brings some kind of hunger out of you so that, like, you have no choice but to showcase your talent. You have no choice but to give it that that raw energy just to give it that that just to show people that like i'm hungry now i don't feel like a lot of these rappers rap like they hungry like like they used to have like the you know like the cyphers the freestyle i used to watch the freestyle battles like back in the day but i mean now it's different i'm gonna I'm stop running my mouth but y'all let me know um Y'all let me know what y'all think. Do you feel like a lot of the stuff that Tupac is saying is relevant to today? And, like, how do you feel about um, 90s rappers versus current day rappers? That, like, do you feel like um, current day rappers have it easier? Or do you feel like it's, they still have to grind their way up to the top? And be free and, and defend yourself. Then, you know, just sit there and turn the other cheek. So whatever message that sends out, that's the kind of message it is. No, but precisely in the film, sort of things degenerate when Bishop does arm himself. But that he didn't either. educate his mind. That's true. That was just just violence. It, it, it had nothing to do with his brain. It had nothing to do. He used the wrong targets. That's absolutely wrong. And I know everybody's going to see that when they see the movie. He didn't do. He didn't do anything to help himself get out of his situation. And in, in fact, Q was closest to getting out of his situation. He used his mind. When you use your brain, it doesn't always have to come to a violent end. But sometimes it does, and that's all that I'm saying. That that is a choice. Yeah, I think that they the movie us, shows that it's definitely right. a choice. They never show you that, you know, okay, the cop's beating on you. You have a choice. Violence to defend yourself, you know what I'm saying? Turn the other cheek or wait for the news cameras to come and talk about it.
like Rodney King. I'm talking about doing it. You know what I'm saying? I, I'm really, it's happened to me. The police beat me up in the middle of the street for no reason, just simply because I cursed at them. Because they were harassing me, and I cursed at them. Now they beat me up. Now, in reality, I couldn't shoot them. Like in my rhymes, I would say, you know what I'm saying? Pow, pow, you know what I'm saying? It was a shootout, but I couldn't do that in reality. But in my rhymes, it. it but y'all, at least, at least Tupac is admitting. I feel like these, like, young guys are trying to make it seem like this crap is like. Like, this how it is. This is a super grind. It's just so crazy out here. Y'all, I done, I done lived in the hood. Like, I understand the struggles that people go through, you know. Like, but y'all, it's so many happy times when you, like, don't have much money. We, I had so many happy times as a kid. Like, being, like, in the hood or, you know, not having much money don't mean, like, you're going to have a terrible life. It don't mean that your life is still, yeah, people might get murdered here and there, and that's nothing to, to, to make light of. That's just a reality that that happens, you know, considering the circumstances that, that we happen to have to grow up in. But um, I like that Tupac is being honest about, you know, that, this is just something like, yeah, it happens, but this is also fantasy. This is something that we rap about. You know, I'm not trying to shoot people right there. I'm not trying to shoot people in their face. If I get arrested, you know, I'm I'm not the first thing I'm thinking is not I'm going to shoot this officer in his face. Like just I just like I feel like honesty is the best policy, but then at the same time these days it probably make you seem like you're not cool. But who cooling in Tupac? Like if Tupac could do it. Yeah, but um, you gotta learn from the best, or else you know you you do, you doomed if you don't if you don't learn from the best. It's that anger because I can I can you know fire back at the police and won't go to jail for for life. You know what you I'm say saying? Because it's just words. Right. And my music, and, and a lot of this music, it's only talking it's only talking about the suppressed rising. I mean the oppressed rising up against the oppressor. That's all. That's what my music's about. The oppressed rising up against the oppressor. So if only people that's scared are the oppressors. The only people who could have any harm coming to them are those who oppress. Simple as that. Yep. You mean the only people that have anything to worry about? Mm-hmm. Uh, but it seems to me that the people that are being oppressed are the ones who have a lot to worry about, too, because they're the ones that are getting beat on every day or not. Right, and that's why they need to start, you know what I'm saying, striking back, beating back. So now why would you choose acting as a, as a career when it when it's going to be harder compared to all the visibility that you can get with music, or do you continue to do you plan to continue? I'm to doing both. Up? I'm still <laughs> in how's digital your, underground. How's your solo album My solo album Tupacalypse now is out in the stores, doing good. I still got music with Digital Underground. That album is doing very well. So it's all just basically showing and proving. I'm I'm made it out, and I want to stay out. Y'all, I'm I'm so and y'all hear that? I made it out. Want I want to stay out, but. I don't know why she asked him why do he want to be in movies because he already got the rapping thing going for him because Tupac is like uh, another jack of all trades. Like, if you have, I ha I can't stand when people be like, okay, you got this talent, so focus on this and it's the only thing you're going to do for the rest of your life. Do whatever is going to make you happy long as if it long as it's with them positive means. Like, I had to, um, because I'm good at a lot of things, but... I always felt like I had to pick one thing, and that was so frustrating. I felt like that was even more frustrating than having nothing that I was good at. And I feel like Tupac is a major, major inspiration. And, like, everybody should look at his interviews, listen to his music and stuff. Just his perspective on things, you know, his outlook on things is so uh, insightful and relatable. But, um, yeah. And I want to show my... my actions about my interviews that this is how you stay out you know what i'm saying and it's, it's still real i'm still that young black man i didn't turn into you know arsenio or cosby you know what I'm dang saying? I'm still the same man he was not like an arsenio those people don't say anything to you they're the people that are the most visible right. to young people today those are the people television. who i admire i've been like in all these other interviews i know people are gonna trip because i've been down in these people but I, what i failed to say was how much i admired these people, you know what I'm saying? Like Spike Lee and Arsenio Hall. I admire these people, Eddie Murphy, these people who I wanted to get into the business for. And they got into the business and didn't give me any way to get in. You know what I'm saying? It took earnest to get me in. 
I just wanted to react to another Tupac video because I know y'all been asking about it. And somebody asked me, could I react to something, to some song by Tupac? I got to I gotta look through the comments so I can see because I was going to react to that next. But um, But anyways... Thank you guys so much for getting to the end of this video. If you have not subscribed and you made it this far, you you bet you might as well you might as well subscribe to me because you already gang gang. You already gang. So um yeah, hit that subscribe button. Make sure you like, comment, share, support your girl. It's super free. You know, and who don't like free stuff, y'all? Anyways, um it's your girl just poetic and I'm out. Peace.